first minute. Cal Poly football overcame a 14-0 first half deficit to win at South Dakota 38-24. The Mustangs scored the last 21 points of the game. Mark Rogers scored twice and rushed for 235 yards. The first 200-plus yard game by a Mustang since James Noble in 2005. Rogers was named the Great West Offensive Player of the Week while Gavin Cooper earned the defensive honor for seven tackles, two sacks, and a forced fumble. Jake Romanelli added two rushing scores, helping Cal Poly compile 379 rushing yards. The Mustangs improved to 7-3 and, and must beat the Aggies this Saturday to become eligible for the NCAA postseason. The 1980 National Championship team will be honored at Saturday. knowing that really they didn't have much to play for in the way of any postseason. They're sneaking over, taking a look at him, planning it in the slot. Going to go to Powell anyway. He got loose in the corner and another Will Powell from Dante Warren touchdown. Defense will give up 50 before our offense will score 50. <laughs> Rodgers got a good run and he's going to get into Coyote territory before they drag him down at the 39. Romanelli straight ahead and a touchdown Cal Poly. Good drive for the Mustangs. Of a wobbler, not a real good kick by Zwiefelhofer standards. And uh -oh. this is going to be big yardage. Zwiefelhofer, the punter, is the only guy back to stop Kellen Moriarty. And he needs some help, but not. Moriarty, here is James Langford. Knocks it through. And the Mustangs have scored 10 straight points after USD had that 14 up and lead. Just over four minutes to go here before halftime. They did have the Coyote defense getting pretty jumpy up on that front line. About three or four guys were ready to come across. Second and 10. Still no catches for Dominique Johnson. Who had 41 catches coming on. Here's Rodgers with that great speed. And he is going to go all the way. 74-yard touchdown for Mark Rogers to go with his 44-yard burst earlier. Woo, he's fast. Oh, he just hits that hole and then that quickness. I mean, the, the two kind 14-0, Yotes got the lead. There again, Umo. All right, it's a design play. They'll come in motion again. They will run the reverse, though, and touchdown Mustangs. Eric Gardley coming on another little wrinkle counter. 
out of the option offense and the Mustangs cranking up the yardage and the points now. It's just not fair. Full back dive, full back dive, option pitch, option. Oh, reverse pitch. Let's throw this in. They haven't seen this yet. And then you throw in the. Cal Poly had 51 all on the ground. Did not safety kind of sneaking over, taking a look at him, planning it in the slot. Going to go to Powell. Anyway, he got loose in the corner and another Will Powell from Dante Warren touchdown. First and goal. Romanelli straight ahead and a touchdown, Cal Poly. Good drive. Schroeder's back in at middle linebacker. Quick hitter to Rodgers. He's got room to the outside. Stays inbound. Mark Rodgers. Touchdown Mustangs. Dominique Johnson is the slot left. They go right though to picked off. Picks Demetrius Turner's going to score. And the freshman puts the Coyotes back in the lead. There's a flag. Touchdowns on the season. Romanelli, same play he scored on in the first half. Touchdown, Cal Poly. And it's for Dominique Johnson, who had 41 catches. Coming on, here's Rodgers with that great speed, and he is going to go all the way. 74-yard touchdown for Mark Rodgers to go with his 44-yard burst earlier. Woo, he's fast. The two oh, Coyotes just... in the secondary had the angle on him. They thought... Right there, he just kicks it in. There's no angle whatsoever, and there's certainly no catching him. His longest run of the season right there, his long prior to 